everybody, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, we are going to be talking about vacuum suspension for amputees. In a bunch of my previous videos, I've shown you the different types of suspension that I've had. I've had pin lock, proximal lock, and suction, but I haven't shown you vacuum suspension. So today with me, I have my friend Jared, who has a vacuum suspension system for his running leg and one of his walking legs, and we're gonna show you how it works. So there are a number of benefits to having a vacuum socket versus other types of suspension methods. Can you tell me what some of those benefits are? One of the benefits would be to promote limb health inside your socket by creating a total surface bearing uh, socket which would increase circulation, uh, would increase stability inside your socket, and basically make your socket feel like it's part of you. What are the benefits of vacuum versus just regular suction system? Okay, suction just allows you to stay inside your socket, and vac elevated vacuum takes it one step further by creating negative vacuum inside your socket, which gives you that extra stability that you need. So it basically sucks you inside your socket and holds you in your socket more firmly compared to suction. Right. Oh, okay. What are some of the drawbacks of vacuum system? One of the drawbacks is keeping vacuum. If you have just the tiniest leak inside your uh, suspension sleeve or the gasket that's connected from your vacuum pump to your socket, any leak will, uh, you'll lose vacuum and your pump will just run until it's dead. And one thing that is annoying is hearing your pump running uh, constantly throughout the day. If you have a long limb or if you're short, you may not be able to use a pump or you might be limited to the type of foot that's underneath it. So you can see on my running leg, there was no room underneath the running leg for my blade, so we had to put it on the back. It kind of looks like a rocket launcher on the end of your running leg. Yeah, I'm actually going to make a cover for it. <laughs> so you're going to make a cover for this to make it look like an afterburner. Yeah. That way, when people are behind me, they see my afterburner on and know how fast I am. <laughs> and they know that you're real fast. <laughs> so I have a proximal lock, and I don't have to wear a sleeve, and I've got really good range of motion. I can bend all the way back here. Is the range of motion affected by wearing a vacuum and vacuum sleeve? It is. In fact, the range of motion is so limited in, in my system that I can't ride my motorcycle with my vacuum leg. If you can, if you see, you have an outer sleeve, you have a flexible inner liner, and then you have your liner that goes onto your residual limb. So all of that is gonna restrict, restrict your movement. The most I can get out of my leg is uh, a little bit more than 90 degrees. Do you think the benefits outweigh the negatives? So far I do. Working, I'm standing and sitting and, and I can adjust if I get uncomfortable. So um, throughout the day, a normal day, a normal work week, I don't have any problems with the restricted movement. But if I were to go and ride my motorcycle or if I were gonna go to a car show and sit down all day long, or if, you're in a, if you sit for work and you're in a business meeting for an hour, two hours or half a day, uh, you might find that this is a little bit too restrictive. So what I'll do is I'll take my suction leg off. I got to you turn it off by the key fob. You always have to have your key fob with you. Now that the pump is off, I don't have any vacuum. So it comes off pretty easy and you can see the inside of my socket, you'll see that there is a texture in there. There's a there is a design, and what those what that corrugated design allows for is more surface bearing. Now you have your urethane liner. These socks allow you to go to slide into your into your leg. Let me do that. Spit in there. You start out with your urethane liner. So you got your urethane liner on, and you'd put a, your socks on. You want to take and fold over your thin socks. Covers, it protects all these sharp edges from rubbing against your, your sleeve. 
because if you get a pinhole in your sleeve, you're going to lose suction. And then you just roll your sleeve over the urethane liner. So once you are all the way on, there's a button on the back of this particular pump that you would press on and then you use your key fob, turn your key fob on and you can see that it's off. So you press it again, it would turn the pump on. Right now what it's doing is sucking out all of the air inside my socket between the urethane liner and my flexible inner liner. My type of pump is LimLogic. This is actually the first generation LimLogic with this key fob. And on my running leg, I have the latest generation LimLogic. It's a little bit different shape. They've, they've made some improvements. The pump is quieter. They use a different key fob, a little bit smaller. Well, actually quite a bit smaller. The charger is also different. The charger for the first generation LimLogic has pins. And if you bend one of those pins on your charger, you void the warranty. What they did on this second generation LimLogic is to use, they use induction for charging. So it just goes into the hole. You plug this in. It gives you an indicator light to let you know when you're fully charged. You would do this at night. Uh, after you take your leg off, plug your limb logic into the charger, and by morning you're charged. This is the first system that I started out with as an amputee. I've, I started out with a pin and lock. I like the system. It feels comfortable but I noticed that I started developing a callus right here on the distal end of my residual limb. What I was able to do with the vacuum and suspension system is to get, I'm helping get, it's helping me get rid of that callus because my, my limb is not moving back and forth. It's not bell clapping inside. It's not, it's not moving at all in this. And that movement is what creates calluses. So I'll be switching from this to the vacuum uh, full time very shortly. As soon as I can find a way to get my limb logic and my rush foot uh, underneath me without changing my height. This is on there pretty secure. Yeah, it's not coming off. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. That's pretty on. That's on there. Oh, <laughs> man, that's really stuck on there. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to do that with a pin and lock system, you would feel the liner and your leg stretching, but with the vacuum, there was no movement from my skin and the, and the liner and the, and the socket. It was all basically just one. You can see how there's just no movement at all. If you turn your, if you turn your foot, your whole leg is being turned as well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. You can subscribe if you like. I put out new videos every Wednesday. You can follow me on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash amputeeot. And see you next week. Bye!